Well, here is the Power Mac G5. It made an appearance in the other video of baking a graphics card, which we all saw that failed. This is the time for the video of this thing in particular. So anyway, it's a early 2005 model. It has two gigahertz processors, so two of them. Two gigs of RAM, a NVIDIA GeForce FX5200 128 meg card, I'll get to that. Of course, we have our ports and stuff back here. Uh, it has a 160 gig hard drive and, of course, Leopard. Uh, it does have Tiger on it, but that's kind of just a waste, so I might just erase the partition use that 88 hard drive in there that's also in there is like a scratch disk. So, it's already kind of hot still because I've been running it. But anyway, I got off eBay for $50. It was a $10 bid and $40 for shipping, and it shipped out of some recycler up in Janesville's car. And they also had ones that went out for... Uh, like 1050 and then 40 shipping so it wasn't a bad deal however when I got it the graphics card was broken but you can see from it it's kind of back leg is kind of popping off maybe I can fix that at some point this is kind of sticking out a bit so you can see it's a little bit wobbly of course you have the plastic door so the story on the graphics card um, of course, the F FX5200 that was in here, uh, in the description they said I would get a Radeon 9600. That didn't happen. I got an FX5200 64 meg card, which was one I tried to bake just to see if it was broken and I could fix it, which, no. But over Jake, over at Jake Powell Touch, Tetch was actually pretty cool and sent me one of those, so thank you. Got my Mac on the road so I can work on PowerPC Archive stuff, which will be somewhere down here. Link so you can go check out. So, since I just had it running, it is still pretty hot. Of course, these are... I wish it was water-cooled, but it's not. Just the air cooler. And there's all these fans in here. There's two here. There's one here. There's two up here. So that's what? Two, four, five, seven... And then two in the power supply, so that's nine fans. It is relatively quiet. There's also a fan on the graphics card back there. Um, I also got a Firewire 800 card in there. There's three ports on it. Uh, you can use Molex to power it. I don't seem to. And then I put a USB card in there because this doesn't have built-in Bluetooth. And I wanted the extra port because I could put the Bluetooth there for the wireless keyboard I have which does work with all the media buttons and stuff and then a USB port for the USB mouse because my wireless mouse sucks and then that means I have the two USB ports here for whatever and the one in the front so you can see there is a little pin here what this is is if you don't have a antenna for your G5 I can't get it back there we go and you have an airport card, which goes right up in there, and the Bluetooth goes behind this fan. You can actually make an antenna with just a clothespin and... Clothespin, I don't know. Whatever, a piece of metal like that, and it will work just fine. These do move quite a bit of heat. I noticed uh, they like to ramp up when you put it in target disk mode. So I use my MacBook Air with a Thunderbolt 800 adapter and copy files over when I need to and that's when this thing likes to get really hot. So up there there's the hard drives. Uh, I've seen some people do this on YouTube and I think it's stupid but where they all have the screws right here but they'll just throw the hard drive in there and then put that little latch down on it. I don't like that but whatever. And then of course you have an IDE disk drive. Uh, you might be able to put a Bluetooth or not Bluetooth uh, Blu-ray drive in here or whatever. I have no need to, but it also came with two sticks of DDR RAM. These are both one gig each. And something with the two gigahertz early 2005 models is there's only two slots on each side where on some other models there would be eight. So you can have eight gigs of RAM. This only has maximum four and I might put four in it eventually. Uh, I don't know what else to really go over. If it would focus, there's the specs on it. Come on. 
Ah, stupid camera. Anyway, it says Power Mac G5, dual processor 2.0, PCI, 1 gig of RAM, 160 gig hard drive, and then super drive with Radeon 9600. So something I did find out is on the bottom it says it was assembled in the USA. I really don't want to flip it over on camera because that would be a pain. But there was a factory in Elk Grove, California that is, I don't know, four hours away from where I live. And I'll actually be going through that city this next week on a vacation trip to the coast. And they shut that factory down in 2004. Uh, these were the last of the Macs that were shipped there. However, since this was an early 2005 model, they were assembled in USA. If they were custom ordered, this one was custom ordered because it had 1 gig of RAM and maybe the Radeon 9600. But it was custom built, and that means they were assembled in the Fremont plant. That took me a while to figure out. Like this iMac from the same time as this one. This one was July 2005. This was like March or April. This one was assembled in China, and then I have an iSight one that was made in October. That's kind of broken, but that one was assembled in Fremont as well. Because it's custom built to have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and all that good stuff. So anyway, I'm going to go over to the porch real quick. Of course, you have your power button, a headphone jack, Firewire 400, and USB 2.0. This actually copies uh, files faster than my MacBook Air over a flash drive. And then, of course, you have your super drive in there. And then, going over to the back, of course, we have the USB ports, the Firewire 800, the VGA, and S-Video. The airport antenna, the Bluetooth antenna, the optical in and out, your speaker for 3.5 jack, and then, of course, the input. Two USB 2.0 ports, another FireWire 400, a FireWire 800, uh, Ethernet, and then this one doesn't have a modem. Of course, you have your power down here. So you can see that's really where the legs are kind of bent on here. Since they're riveted, they might be possible just to weld back in. I don't know. We'll have to find out. And that one's tweaked. But on the front, it's all good. So that's the end of the Power Mac video, and stay tuned. And there is one more thing. When I was trying to import the movie, I wanted to see how long it would take on the G5 and the Air. Of course, the Air blew it out of the water, taking 5 minutes to import the video, and the G5 took like 20. So it wasn't good. The Air beats it, of course, in every shape and form. When I first got the G5, I had it next to my Power Mac G3, which is a blue and white. I've had that thing for probably two years now. I took the side panel off the G5 and compared it to the size of the G3, and it's actually pretty similar. I just want to share that with you guys, and you can see the pictures on the screen, and stay tuned for a follow-up video.